Hey guys, it's Sonya Miller. Welcome back to my channel, Living the Creative Life. Hello, I've been junking people. I've been junking. I am super excited to get to all these projects. You know when you go to the thrift store and you like just to hit on a good day? Maybe they just put the junk out on the shelves. I don't know, I don't know. Junkin' God said, Sonya. It is in your favor today, so I've had all kinds of good stuff. So in my stash today, I found four burlap coasters. Check it out, four burlap coasters. 99 cents, a dollar, make me holla. Hello, are these awesome? But we're just not gonna leave it at that. This totally could be something you get from the store, you bring it home and you start to use it. But I like to push it farther. I like to put my own spin on things and bring forth, show with how word, your personality. Let's give them some personality. They're blank slates right now. Now if you're looking to create something like these from scratch, all you would need is just a little piece of wood, get some scrap wood, cut it in squares, rectangles, and sometimes I like to make big ginormous ones. So you're gonna take your piece of wood and then what you're gonna do is use Mod Podge to be able to glue down whatever fabric you put on it. Yes, I'm here to tell you, yes, you can paint fabric and specifically we're gonna paint burlap today. Another great way to be able to create these coasters is to go and find squares that are already made out there, that already exist out there, which means that you don't even have to touch a saw. What can I use, Sonya, so I don't have to do that? Girl, go to your local hardware store and pick up some tiles. You know those bathroom tiles in all different shapes? Those nice square style ones? Yeah, those are perfect. And because of what they're made out of, they can definitely withstand the heat, the cold, because it's supposed to be a coaster, right? So that part's easy peasy to be able to create, and now you're ready to go. You're ready to add a little bit of, shall I say it again, personality to these pieces. I'm gonna grab from my stash a classic black. This is our black velvet, and I'm choosing to use our chalky style paint today because it sticks to pretty much anything, including burlap. Now you can totally freehand a design, or, hello, I'm Stencil Sonia. I'm going to pull out my folder of stencils. A lot of these stencils have come from my favorite stencil shop that I found. They are a US-based company that ships all over the world, and I'll go ahead and leave their link below. Just amazing quality stencils for an amazing price. When you get stencils like this that I did when I got this one from them, um, you can see it's made up of three different designs, right? But if I just wanna put a rooster, or is it a chicken? I don't know. If I wanna put this little cute thing right here, that's the question of the day. Is this a rooster or is this a chicken? Anybody else get their um, farm animals confused? Hey, I'm a fisherman's daughter, okay? I didn't grow up on a farm, so I'm gonna need your help. So yeah, just use like one of them. You don't have to use the entire thing. Who else just loves silhouettes of blackbirds? You know, I'm thinking like something like this. What do you think? If you wanted to do something that was more winter themed, you know, like just a tree, you could do that. This one here is really cool. This is a leopard print one. But take a look at this as well. Mandelas are really popular right now in the crafting world and all it would take is to go ahead and put uh, a big one over the top, find the center as best as possible. Listen, here we're all about imperfectly perfect, getting it right there as best as possible and then creating that overall design. So I am loving how these turned out. They were so simple. I know you guys can make them too. Now the next thing I know you're gonna ask me is Sonya, but how do I seal them, right? Because, hello, there is gonna be beverages put on these. So like, how do I keep them nice and safe from being all destroyed and getting stained? You are gonna wanna grab some Scotch Guard, okay? You're gonna wanna do a spray over of the fabric. This is my personal favorite right here. It's always my go-to brand. It is Scotch Guard 3M, and you can see right on it, it says Fabric Crafts Protector, Protector. It repels liquid and blocks stains. Now, we're already high on life, so I'm going to encourage you to spray this outside, which is the next step of what I have to do for these uh, coasters, and then they are good to go. So we dry, we stack, and we put in a beautiful bow, maybe a beautiful gift tag, and we have just got a gorgeous, easy gift on our hands.
Maybe it's a gift to yourself. And don't forget that you can get burlap in all kinds of colors. Did you guys have fun hanging out in the studio with me today? I hope you did. Will you be trying this? Let me know below. Thank you guys for subscribing to my channel. I am a daily vlogger, which means that I am here every single day. I hope you come back and watch. Make sure you hit that little bell. What it does is it lets you know every time my new upload is available for you to watch. See you guys tomorrow.